Okay, so you want to go for a run, but you are stuck inside. It's too cold. You don't have a treadmill. Something like that. First of all, if you don't have a treadmill, good, because treadmills will not be a good idea. They're not a good choice. I won't get into it in this video because it's not the point of the video, but I would strongly recommend you avoid treadmills permanently. You can use less space than a treadmill takes up and get a running workout. I'm gonna give you about five different variations you can use to run. You can repeat the cycle or you can extend the amount of time prescribed and use it to suit your own fitness level and your own needs. The first variation is simple running in place. So you're just gonna run in place. When you do this, make sure you're very loose. Don't, don't do anything crazy like trying to get the knees too high or kicking your butt. It's just shifting from one support to the other support. So you only need to pull your foot off the ground as much as necessary to switch support, okay? And you're just shifting back and forth from right to left, right to left. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the arms relaxed, and even if you're not going super fast, you're still picking the feet up relatively quickly so you have a sense of lightness. And then if you wanna pick up the pace, you can, but you just have a nice light tone and feel to it. Variation two is lateral run or lateral shifting. So you paint an imaginary line between your feet, put one foot on the line, and then you're just gonna exchange which foot is on the line. So you're shifting laterally. Same thing, stay light, stay, stay loose and relaxed in the rest of the body. And you can slow it down, still relaxed, speed it up a little bit. And you're just shifting your weight side to side. Don't make the mistake of staying central and sending your foot, each foot from side to side like this. It's not the same thing. You wanna actually shift your weight from side to side. So the foot that's on the line changes. Left, right, and back and forth. Next one is a 10 step ladder. So you're gonna alternate which foot you land on, so you're running in place. This will be one, two would be two on each side, then three on each side, then one, two, three, four on each side, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you hit ten, you go backwards, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'll do up to five and back down, just as a demonstration, so you get the idea. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you go all the way up to 10, all the way back down to one. Next one, you're gonna sprint in place. So picking your feet up, it's like quick feet, but don't, try to keep it as much like a run as possible. Don't do this type of thing where you see sometimes in drills where you're just essentially vibrating your legs. You want to pick your feet up, but as minimally as possible, but still pick them up to exchange. So it's just like the running in place that we were doing, switching from one foot to the other, but you're sprinting. And you're going to go for 10 seconds as fast as you can. last one is a huge exaggerated run. So you're trying to get as much movement throughout the whole body as possible. Stay loose. So it's like you're really exaggerating the run. Okay? So and you can just stay in place. Something like that. So the prescription is simple, 60 seconds. So you set a timer for one minute for each one of those. You go through them in chronological order. Don't rest in between each one unless you absolutely need to. 
and do a minute for each one, with the exception of the ladder. Obviously for that one, you just go up to 10 and back down to one. The rest you do 60 seconds. If that is not enough of a workout for you, simple, repeat it. Two more times, three more times, four more times, up to five more times. You shouldn't need to repeat that any more than five times to get a decent running workout. No equipment, no treadmill, don't even need shoes. You can do it right in your house, right in your yard. If you like quick videos like this, mini tutorials, or just even mini classes, free classes that you can use to do every day, we have a ton of content for free at our website, athleticengineering.ca, so you can go check out the link. Have a good day.